गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज रिलेटेड टू हिस्टोग्राम स्ट्रेचिंग वी हैव टू परफॉर्म हिस्टोग्राम स्ट्रेचिंग फॉर अ गिवन एट क्रॉस एट 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 क्रॉस एट इनपुट इमेज सो फॉर अ एट क्रॉस एट इनपुट इमेज द नंबर ऑफ रोज इट इज इक्वल्स टू एट नंबर ऑफ कॉलम नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इट इज इक्वल्स टू एट सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पिक्सल्स इट इज इट इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी फोर सो दिस नंबर सिक्सटी फोर यू कैन वेरीफाई फ्रॉम दिस गिवेन टेबल सो इफ यू काउंट ऑल द नंबर ऑफ ऑक्रेंस इफ यू Uh, if you do the summation of all the number of occurrence of this gray labels you will find 5 5 plus 20 it is 25 25 plus 20 it is 45 45 plus 19 it is 64 so the total number of pixel and for this given pixel distribution it is 64 okay now we have to perform the histogram stretching for histogram stretching you have to identify the value of r mean and the value of r max by looking at the table by looking at this pixel distribution table you can easily find that the histogram it is starts from r mean is equals to 2 and it is available up to r max is equals to 5 so from this given table since the number of occurrence of the gray label 0 and 1 it is 0 0 so the histogram it starts from the gray level r mean is equals to 2 and since the number of occurrence for this gray level 6 and 7 it is 0 0 so the histogram it is available for the maximum gray level that is equals to 5 so from this given table r mean is equals to 2 that is the minimum value of gray level from where the histogram starts and the maximum value of gray level r max it is equals to 5 that is the maximum gray level up to which the histogram is available so r mean is equals to 2 r max is equals to 5 and we have to stretch this histogram from 0 to 7 so s mean is equals to 0 and s max is equals to 7 and in our histogram stretching class we have studied this equation s is equals to s max minus s mean divided by r max minus r mean multiplied with r minus r mean plus s mean <laughs> so this equation is nothing but the equation of linear histogram stretching linear contrast stretching so let us substitute the value of s max s mean r max r mean in this equation and we have to obtain the equation of s so the equation of s it becomes s max minus s mean the value of s max is 7 the value of s min is 0 so s max minus s min it is equals to 7 minus 0 divided by r max minus r min the value of r max is 5 the value of r min is 2 so r max minus r min is equals to 5 minus 2 multiplied with r minus r mean the value of r mean is 2 plus s mean the value of s mean is 0 so the expression becomes this term multiplied with r minus 2 plus 0 so the equation becomes 7 by 3 
into r minus 2 where r varies from 2 to 5 where r where r varies from r mean to r max the value of r mean is 2 the value of r max is 5 so r varies from r mean to r max that is r varies from 2 to 5 now we will determine the value of s for each value of r so first we will determine the value of s for r is equals to 2 so for r is equals to 2 equation of s it becomes equals to 7 by 3 multiplied with in place of this r i will substitute 2 so it is 2 minus 2 that is equals to 0 next we will determine the value of s for r is equals to 3 so when r equals to 3 equation of s is equals to 7 by 3 multiplied with in place of this r i will substitute 3 so it becomes 3 minus 2 so that is equals to 7 by 3 now numeric now numerically this number is equals to 2.33 and next we will round off this number 2.33 to its nearest integer number so it becomes equals to 2 next we will determine the value of s for r is equals to 4 so when r equals to 4 equation of s it becomes equals to 7 by 3 in place of this r now i will substitute 4 so it is 4 minus 2 that is equals to 14 by 3 numerically this number is equals to 4.67 next we will round off this number to its nearest integer number so it becomes equals to 5 and lastly we will determine the value of s for r is equals to 5 so when r equals to 5 equation of s it becomes equals to 7 by 3 in place of this r i will substitute 5 so it is 5 minus 2 that is equals to 7 by 3 multiplied with 3 so it becomes equals to 7 okay next we will draw a output histogram table here i will write sk and here i will write nk sk it represent the output gray level okay and nk it is its corresponding number of occurrence this sk is varies from 0 to 7 So I will write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now look at this conversion. Now look at this conversion in the input image. If the input gray level is equal to 2, in the output image, it is assigned to the new gray level that is equal to 0. So in the input histogram table, clearly you can see in the input image. For input gray level is equal to 2, it having 5 number of pixels in the input image. Now this 5 number of pixel will be assigned to new gray level 0 in the output image. So I will write here 5. Next, in the input image, if the input gray level is equal to 3, in the output image it is assigned to a new gray level that is equal to 2. So in the input histogram table for input gray level is equal to 3 it having 20 number of pixels in the input image now this 20 number of pixels will be assigned to new gray level 2 in the output image so i will write here 20 next in the input image if the input gray level is equal to 4 it is assigned to a new gray level that is equals to 5 in the output image again in the input histogram table if the input image having the gray level is equals to 4 
it having 20 number of pixels in the input image now this 20 number of pixels would be assigned to a new gray level that is equals to 5 in the output image so i will write here 20 and lastly in the input image if the input gray level is equals to 5 in the output image it is assigned to a new gray level that is equals to 7 so look at the input histogram table in the input image if it having the gray level equals to 5 so in the input image for input gray level is equals to 5 it having 19 number of pixels in the input image now this 19 number of pixels will be assigned to new gray level 7 in the output image so i will write here 19 and rest all are 0 0 Okay, so now look at the input histogram table. In the input histogram table, the histogram it lies between the minimum gray level that is 2 and the maximum gray level that is 5. And after after performing the histogram stretching, now you can observe the output histogram it having the minimum gray level that is 0 and the maximum gray level that is 7, and hence we have performed the histogram stretching.